Hello again, my comic book friends. This is Liking the Covers. This is going to be part two of my last haul of 2017. Come one, come all, because it's going to be interesting. And the ending is going to be something phenomenal. But first, I was getting this in my pull box at the LCS, but I think I got the first seven issues. So I picked up the last um, issue five, issue number six, and issue number seven. And I have not read these yet. Next, a lot of true believers. This one here, Amazing Fantasy starring Spider-Man. True Believers, Miles Morales, Spider-Man number one. Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man. Cover and story to number one. True Believers, X-Force, number one. First time I've had this story, or this issue, even in the, uh, it is a true believer. The Internals, number one. And these are part of the Celebrating Kirby 100th. Celebrating his 100th birthday. And I saved these at the, at the end because a lot of people this year, I was just really, really nice of people to stop and acknowledge the work and, and the hours and everything that uh, Mr. Jack Kirby gave us, the comic community. Here's Groot. This is the Groot that could talk. <laughs> Here's the Mighty Thor. <clears throat> Thor versus Hulk. Now on the back of this, I like this too. It says that Jacob Kurtzenberg, born August 28th, 1917, was known professionally as Jack Kirby and the King to fans and true believers. From Captain America to the Inhumans, Kirby's dynamic action and out-of-this-world concepts helped build the foundations for the Marvel Universe. In celebration of 100 years of the King, Marvel presents some of his greatest works in these special issues. I look at it as little pieces of treasures that a lot of us don't have the money to get, but was lucky enough this year to grab some history. Okay, these uh, next few books I got from the Ohio Bookstore. I finally stopped in, in there, and it's been many years since I've been there. Um, it's just because I don't go downtown that much anymore. Uh, there was a particular time I was down there, and I went in. Place has not changed 
since the 90s or even beyond. I mean, that building's been there for a long, long time. But, uh, yeah, it, it looks just like I walked. I guess it's like this book says, Blast from the Past. Yes, indeed. But um, he had books, but they were like, okay, this, this here was a dollar book. So this was 75 cents for each copy, a quarter off of each one. So I got Iron Man number 267, Iron Man 268. I don't have a lot of Iron Man in my collection, so it was nice to pick up a few issues that I don't have. <clears throat> this one here. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Dark cover. A lot going on. Okay, coming down to the... Like, there's like four books behind this one. This is a new one. This came out a couple months ago. It's got an October 2017. Um, publishing date. This is Scooby-Doo Team Up number 29 with Scooby-Doo and the gang and Top Cat and the gang. <laughs> now, I was at my local comic book shop on my birthday and when I was there, I was thinking of getting some stuff for my grandchildren and <laughs> They have on display the, what are quote-unquote, children's books. But I, could, I, I couldn't resist. I really couldn't put on the brakes because I've seen this. It took me back to when I was that young, watching these programs, getting up with my cereal, getting up, turning on the television, watching Scooby, watching, at the time, reruns because Top Cat was created before I was born. But I seen um, Scooby Doo when it first came out in '69, and I was seeing uh, reruns of Top Cat. But uh, this year, the one that uh, I think is out right now is the one that's Scooby Doo and Ant uh, Animant. So yeah, I mean, there's a few that I have, but I didn't get to grab all these. Um, remember, they had the one with. Um, Harley Quinn, and then there was ones that had the Jetsons, the Flintstones, Superman. Um, I want to say, yeah, Flintstones, Superman, and Jetsons, and Johnny Quest. I'm the ones I got. Now I added this one. So now, <clears throat> as everyone as ever followed me knows that I have been trying this year to just grab as many Marvel team-ups as I can during the year. And this year, I've picked up quite a few. So, I picked up three more. I'd like to share them with you. This is Marvel team-up featuring the Human Torch and the Son of Satan. Issue 32. Found issue number 34. Marvel team up, Spider Man and Valkyrie. Taking on the Meteor Man. And then found number 38 Spider Man and the Beast. Taking on the Griffin which was introduced in The Champions. Real, real cool, cool, cool cover. Now, 
This next book, this here is the, about the biggest book um, I myself have ever gotten. And to purchase this and, and saving up and having the money to pay for it, I got this on my birthday. And this is from a long, long list of books that I, in the back of my mind, I think of, like, for example, Fantastic Four 103, 104, um, She Hawk number one, there is Miss Marvel number one, um, Moon Knight number one. Finding a, a decent copy of Werewolf by Night 32, and so on and so forth. But there has been some that issues that I wanted to get. I have the reprints, but I wanted to get the first ones, the first books. So now in my long list, there was three. Now there is two with this particular character. And the drum roll. There it is, ladies and gentlemen of the comic book community. There it is. My copy of Amazing Spider-Man, issue 135, the second appearance of the Punisher. I'm a speechless as when I, when I took it out of the bag and put it in my hands for the first time. I just didn't know what to say. I was just, I, I, I put this in my mind and it was a determination to, to even though the, the you know, times are tough and they're rough, I still was scraping enough together. And I've been scraping since spring of this year. And I finally got it on my birthday, like I said. And I'm, I'm just, I cannot believe I got this. I would have to literally pinch myself to that I've got this in my collection. Now, they told me that the, the staples are, whoops, sorry about that. I don't know why that's doing that. Okay, the staples are tight. They're not rusted, but there's a lot of spine ticks on the side. But this cover is just for this being a book back in the 70s. This is in real, real, really nice shape. So this here is the book I have been waiting for all year long. And I finally got it. Now, my next two that I'll be trying to find will be 136 and 137. But this is not the oldest Amazing Spider-Man book I have. Thanks to our friend, my friend, um, Arike of Biggie's Comics. He had, uh, I believe it was at a time where he was selling some books and I bought uh, Amazing Spider-Man 92, 160, let's see, 166, I think it was, and or 167, and 170 I bought from, from a reggae. So, yeah. So, issue 92 is my oldest, but this is, I mean, I, I won't even go there. I mean, I haven't came across 
any kind of copies in either one of my LCSs. I haven't came across either one um, in either one of them of, of um, Punisher first appearance in 129. But when I seen this, I asked, could you hold it for me? And I feel like in my heart I got blessed. So I want to acknowledge my local comic book shop, Rock and Rooster, here on the west side of Cincinnati. Thank you for all of those gentlemen who are in that comic book store. And you really made my year. So thank you. So it feels good to share this with the community, show it off. And I hope that people who are ever looking for this, someday they will find their copy too. So that's going to do it. This is my last haul of 2017. With this video, thumbs up, thumbs down if you like. Comment if you like. Subscribe if you like. Again, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Happy Hanukkah to all of my comic book friends. And my prayer for all of us is that for each hour we got coming for the holidays on the Christmas weekend, that we have in the hour have less pain and suffering and have more joy in the hour during the days. That's my prayer for just for, for you, the convo community, and for my family, friends, and acquaintances. So until the next time, this is Liking the Covers, 4963. And I also like to acknowledge this year of this being bound to determine and that determination paid off. Take care, everyone.